This is a question I'm often asked. How do you calculate 100 parts per million of nitrogen fertilizer? Well, here at Tobacco University video, we're going to go through and we're going to walk you through the process and exactly how you'd go about calculating. So grab your calculator and let's get into the video. All right, hopefully you got your calculator and we're gonna go through how to calculate 100 parts per million of nitrogen fertilizer for your cannabis plants. So why 100 parts per million? And PPN does stand for parts per million. Well, typically the goal of nitrogen for cannabis is 120 parts per million. So for simplicity, we're gonna go how to calculate 100 parts per million will be shown. In addition, I will show 120 uh, parts per million example. Uh, this will allow you to see the multiple examples so you'll be comfortable with the process and apply it to your own particular growing situation. So you know just how much to add without over adding um, anything to your plants. So first off, we have to start with how do you read a fertilizer label? So fertilizers will provide three numbers, which are percentages. The order is important. It goes nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Since this example will calculate nitrogen, we simply are only gonna be looking at the first number. So in this one, it's 4% nitrogen, in this one, 17. So looking at this example here, we're just gonna use a standard Jack's uh, water-soluble fertilizer, 20% nitrogen, 10% phosphorus, 20% potassium. We're gonna again focus on that first number here because we're calculating nitrogen. Now for actually fertilizing, we can't forget about those numbers, but for the purposes of this calculation, we're gonna focus on the 20% nitrogen. So first question, how much fertilizer do you add to one liter of water so you get a 100 part per million solution? Great question. Well, let's go through the calculation steps here. So starting with that 20% nitrogen, the goal of 100 parts per million of nitrogen. So since the goal is 100 parts per million, how much fertilizer are we going through and adding? Well, our goal is that 100 parts per million. So note that 100 parts per million is the same as 100 milligrams per liter. So we're doing a little metric conversion here. So our goal is to get to that 100. So how much do we need to add? Well, we've got, we want 100 milligrams of nitrogen per liter. We have uh, 0.2 grams uh, per, uh, 0.2 grams of nitrogen per one gram of fertilizer. This is 20%. So 20% of one gram is 0.2 grams. So we have 0.2 grams of nitrogen per one gram of fertilizer. We simply go through, we multiply the top, we divide by the bottom, and as a result, we, get, we would add 500 milligrams per liter, which is the same as half a gram per liter. So you can go through and make some modifications here. Again, our target here is 100 parts per million. We have 20% nitrogen, which is where this number comes from. Multiply across the top, divide by the bottom. We get 500 milligrams per liter or simplified 0.5 grams per liter. So if we're continuing on to, question, to that continued question, if the ratios calculated previously was 0.5 grams per liter, how many grams do I add for a 50 gallon tank? Well, we have that ratio there of half a gram per liter. How, and we do a conversion from liters to gallons. One liter is the same as 0 0.24, I'm sorry, one liter is the same as 0 0.264 gallons. We wanna to add to 50 gallons, so the question is how many grams do we add? And again, multiplying across the top, dividing by the bottom, we would get 94.7 grams per 50 gallon tank. So it's something that might be more applicable to a reservoir that a grower might be utilizing. Now let's get to question two. How much fertilizer would you add to one liter of water to get 120 parts per million of solutions? So now we've upped the concentration really to what's considered to be ideal for cannabis. So again, we're still starting with that same 20% nitrogen, but now our goal is 120 parts per million. You can see it's set up basically the same way. Here we're noticing, except we've changed that 100, it is now 120. We still have that 20% nitrogen, so it's still 0.2 grams per gram of fertilizer. Multiply everything in the top, divide it by everything multiplied in the bottom. We get 600 milligrams per liter, or in this case, 0.6 grams per liter. Have we continued that step a little bit further? If the ratio calculated previously to add was 0.6 grams per liter, how many grams would I add for one gallon of concentrate tank to use in a proportion injector set at one to 200 ratio and 200 gallons of irrigation water to be used. So now we're getting a little bit more complicated here. Now we're looking at using like a dositron or a chemi injector or some way of injecting that fertilizer. 
So since 200 gallons will be used, the grower should add 454 grams into a one gallon concentrated source to make sure everything dissolves and does not settle in this concentration. So how do we get that? Well, we get that 0.6 grams per liter. We do our conversions. Here we're looking at 200 gallons. Well, we wanna have 454 grams uh, to be dispersed over that 200 gallons. So we take that one gallon concentrate, which is where the tube of our dosatron would go into. We mix in 454 grams, stir that up well, run it for the duration of time uh, to get it to our 200 gallons because a one to 200 ratio means one gallon of concentrate will be used for every 200 gallons of water that goes through. So this is a great way you can ensure that your plants on a, even a large scale are getting the right ratio mixed. So this just, again, acts as a starting point. You're welcome to go back through, review this video a couple times, do the math yourself with the information and numbers provided here to make sure you get the right numbers and then apply it to your own situation so you can get your fertilizer fertigation dialed in to the benefit of you as well as your plants.